Canine Massage, a solution to relieve your dog. Canine massage is very important to relieve the animal's pain and allow it to relax. This soft medicine promotes the well-being of the dog, but for it to be effective, it is essential to carry out the massages in the rules of the art. It is therefore recommended to contact a veterinarian specialized in canine physiotherapy. Let's discover the benefits of massages for the dog, and see what are the points to respect if you want to massage your dog effectively when you are not a professional. The many benefits of canine massage. This alternative medicine gives excellent results if it is practiced by a professional and the massage sessions are scheduled regularly. It is therefore better to entrust canine massages to a physiotherapist for dogs so that the animal derives the greatest benefits, namely for example, provide welfare to the animal, relax your whole body, calm his anxieties, channeling his behavior, especially if he is restless, nervous, hyperactive or aggressive, soften your skin, relieve migraines, muscle, joint or digestive pain, reduce bloating, improve intestinal transit, improve the mobility of a dog whose joints are stiff and, or painful, promote blood circulation and lymphatic circulation, support your cardiovascular system, strengthen the immune system. During a massage, the animal physiotherapist can also discover a lump on palpation, for example. This makes it possible to alert the treating veterinarian and consequently to treat the animal as quickly as possible. However, we know that early treatment increases the chances of recovery. Do not hesitate to have your dog massaged by a veterinarian, especially since it is an act reimbursed by health insurance for pets. To benefit from this support, all you have to do is take out a contract with a mutual dog insurance company. By going through an online comparator, you can discover in a few clicks the services included in the different formulas, the rates and ceilings of reimbursements as well as the rates applied by the many specialized insurance companies. Massaging your dog yourself, the principles to respect. Be careful not to crush your dog despite common sense on the grounds of giving him a muscular massage to get him back on his feet. It is quite the opposite that must be done, because poor handling can amplify the pain already present in the animal. Here are the basic rules to follow. Place the animal in a quiet place. Caress him on the head, the neck, then on the back so that he relaxes and feels confident. Encourage him to adopt the most suitable position but also the most comfortable for him according to the part of his body that needs to be massaged. He can therefore be seated, lying on his stomach, on his back or on a side, for example. Massage each part of the animal's body using a very specific technique, namely, the back. Perform circular movements by placing the hands flat on each side of the spine, always starting from the neck and descending gently to the tail. The head. Gently massage your dog's skull with your fingertips, describing small circles to the base of the neck, not forgetting the back of the ears. The belly. This part of the body requires great attention because it is particularly sensitive. It is necessary to carry out more or less ample circular movements according to the size of the animal, with the palms of the hands and the thumbs but without pressing too hard. The legs. Each leg should be massaged one after the other, starting from the toes and going up towards the shoulder blade for the front legs and towards the hip for the hind legs. The ideal is for the dog to lie on its back. The master must adopt extremely gentle gestures so as not to create any pain or discomfort. Always watch your dog for the slightest sign of nervousness, weariness, or even pain. The master must remain very concentrated throughout the massage session in order to be perfectly attentive to his animal. It is strongly recommended to take care, at the beginning, to give only short massages so that the dog gets used to it. This makes it possible to analyze his behavior, his level of satisfaction, his tolerance threshold and to know if he really appreciates being massaged. Gradually, if the animal reacts well and seems to appreciate, the master can significantly increase the duration of the sessions. But each time, it is important to be observant in order to detect the slightest reaction of pain, nervousness or weariness. Always associate canine massage with talking. The master who wishes to perform some massages himself in order to relieve his faithful companion must have very specific objectives, the relief and well-being of his animal. In order for the dog to be able to take full advantage of his session and for it to be beneficial to him, he must be perfectly relaxed. However, some dogs are less receptive, even more stressed or anxious than others, either by nature or because they suffer physically and in the latter case, the anxiety of being touched leads to apprehension during contact because they are afraid of being hurt. It is therefore essential to adopt gentle gestures of course, 
but also to talk to your dog during the massage in order to reassure him. It's important for him to have confidence. No matter the choice of words, it's all about tone. We always address the animal with respect, and the chosen intonation must be calm, calm. We also adopt a moderate to slow rate of speech so that the dog is completely calm.